Good morning. This is going to be a somewhat uh, quick video, hopefully, of the failure mode of a intermatic model ML0121T low voltage transformer with a timer control. Uh, this is something that would basically control low voltage lighting in a garden or something like that. Uh, the reason I'm taking this apart is because previous owners of this house, uh, this was left on the wall when I attempted to test it. it, it it's been plugged in for who knows how long, probably 28 years. But it doesn't look like there's been any lights attached to it for at least 10. So this thing has just been, at one point it was just turning on and off, maybe, with uh, nothing attached to it. Although I think eventually the uh, the timer failed and all it does is make a, when you plug it in it makes a, a rumbling noise but never turns on or off. So I've already taken out the screws and there's not much in this thing. Uh, really it just consists of a a transformer that takes 120 volts and puts out 12 volts and a timer and the timer in here is what's failed. This transformer still works and when I opened this up the interesting thing about it that I noticed was that it oh, you could probably fix this really easily. This is literally a standard timer and they've just jammed the wires into where you would put a plug like if you would put you wanted to plug in a, a light or something uh, what you would do is you would just take the power coming in from the cord and then attach a uh, like a socket to it, a, a, a female plug, and then you could plug that into a, a timer with a similar dial like this. These are very common, and it's just they just screwed it into here. There's, um, and that would be it. Heck, you could even probably upgrade this to a a digital timer if you wanted to. Um, I'm not going to probably do that. I, I'm not really going to use it a, for that. I'm probably going to take it apart here and uh, just to see what failed inside. By the way, the thing that holds this together are a bunch of uh, what are these Torx T20s and uh, Torx um, looks like T10s Hmm. Well, I'm not entirely sure 
what uh, calls, caused this to fail. I do know that I set the I would set the timer to the correct time, and then a couple hours later, I'd come back and it hadn't rotated. So it's possible that. one of these things wasn't working but I don't actually care enough about this thing to actually fix it so anyways um, like I said yeah you could probably fix this by hardwiring in another timer but just a standard off-the-shelf timer that's it thanks for watching